So today I'm excited to share some great news about RPCS3, the PlayStation 3 emulator. The team have just dropped a native ARM Mac version, which means you can finally play PlayStation 3 games on your Apple Silicon M series Mac even better than ever. Let me give you a bit of background. For the past few years, we've been running RPCS3 as an x86 Intel binary. This required Rosetta 2 to translate the emulator from x86 to ARM64, which is necessary because all M series Macs use ARM64 CPUs. With this new native ARM application, in theory, you'll see overall boosts in performance, improved battery efficiency, less heat generation, all without the overhead of Rosetta 2. And while the ARM64 binary isn't officially released by RPCS3 just yet, it's expected to be available soon. In the meantime, I'm going to show you how to download and set up the unofficial ARM version of RPCS3 and test out some games. Just bear in mind that this is still experimental, so compatibility has taken a little bit of a hit during the transition to native ARM. If you're looking for stability, you might want to stick with the Intel build for now. However, native ARM is definitely the future of PlayStation 3 emulation on the Mac. So without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial and I'll walk you through getting this version of RPCS3 running and testing some games on the base M1 MacBook Air. So at the time of recording, the macOS version here on the actual RPCS3 website is still the Intel version. For now, we're going to be downloading the ARM64 version from this GitHub page, which I'll link to in the description. So this release here, I'll be linking to specifically. But if you're watching this in the future, this should get an update. Hopefully, this will be a universal binary which contains Intel and Apple Silicon builds. So once that's downloaded, we're going to go to our Finder and then go to our Downloads folder and then double click on this RPCS3.7z file. And then once that's done, we're going to double click on this folder and then find RPCS3. RPCS3 here. If we press Command I, you'll see that this is an Apple Silicon native ARM version of the application. Then we'll drag and drop this into the applications folder. And then we're going to find RPCS3 and then double click. And then it's saying that it's not verified. So control click no longer bypasses that security feature. So you need to go to the Apple logo here, go to system settings. And then we need to go to privacy and security and then click on this. Scroll down until we find the application that we tried to open. It's detected that RPCS3 was blocked. So we're going to click open anyway and then open anyway again and that's going to manually open once we type in our password so now that's done we are loading up our pcs3 and now that's opened we can continue to the next stage so i'm going to click on i have read the quick start guide you don't necessarily need that because you're going to be following this tutorial and now our pcs3 has opened so the first thing that we need to do is to install the firmware so we need to install firmware here and we need to locate the firmware file ps3 updates.pup it's actually going to be on the playstation website which i'll leave a link to in the description so we need to scroll down here and find the official PS3 update file. And then I'm going to click on here how to reinstall PS3 software. Click reinstall using computer and then click download PS3 update. If for whatever reason this doesn't actually download, just right click or control click and then save link as. And then this will actually download the file. So click save. And then if your Chrome is saying that it's detected that it's an insecure download, press the keep button, and then this should download. So we've got ps 3 updatepup inside our downloads folder. And so if we navigate to downloads now, we're going to find the correct file here, ps 3 updatepup Press open, and then this is going to install the 4.91 firmware. So that's done now, press OK. So now this window's open up, just let that complete, and then we're basically done. So once the firmware is installed, what I'm going to do is to pair a controller. So I actually have an Xbox wireless controller paired up via Bluetooth to my Mac. So just get a system settings go to bluetooth and then make sure that a controller is paired you can do that by pressing a pair button on an xbox controller or a ps3 controller and then it'll appear under nearby devices press connect and once your controller has a solid light and it says here that it's connected then we're ready to go so we're going to configure the controller here just go to pads and then you can see that the controller for player one we're going to change this to sdl which is my xbox series x controller and then that's basically configured for player one press save and now we can go on and configure our games. So I can't show you where to download games from. You need to extract these from genuine PS3 discs from your own jailbroken PS3, or you can just download them online. It's fairly straightforward. I'll load up the game Demon's Souls. So the, basically the folder structure looks something like this. We have the PS3 game and also the PS3 update folders. So I'm just going to select the root folder here, press open, and then it's automatically opening up Demon Souls. So here Demon Souls is automatically loading. It's going ahead and basically loading up caches. Another thing to be aware of is that you should be looking at the RPCS3 wiki for the optimum configuration. So these games often have better performance if you change things like the resolution scale threshold because the game is a little bit blurry by default if you're running this out of the box. So we're going to right click or control click and then configure by creating a custom configuration. And then under GPU, we can go ahead and tweak the resolution scale threshold. I'm going to change this to 64 
640 by 640 like it says in the wiki. So we're going to get close to there 644 by 644 and also this asks to use right color buffers. So I'm going to turn on right color buffers and then it's going to configure this for the specific game. Also just be aware that if you want to change resolution you shouldn't do it from this menu here. You should do it through the resolution scale slider here. I can tweak this to 1080p by putting this up to 150% which should work. We're actually going to keep it at 720p to get the best performance from the M1. So that's going to apply to Demon Souls only, not going to apply to any other game. Another thing that we're going to do as well is control click on the game list in the library and then go to manage game patches and then we're going to update our patch list here and then under Demon Souls we're just going to configure our patch list here. We're going to enable unlock FPS and we're going to keep everything else the same. So press save and then just double click on the game to launch from the library. So then it's going to go through this preloading caching. This might take a bit of time to so just wait for that to finish. So now we're in the game and you can see that we're running very smoothly at 60 frames per second. This is running at 720p, not 1080p, but it's very smooth on the Mac anyway. So I'm just going to go through the tutorial, just show you what it's like. I've noticed some issues with the game freezing every now and then, so you can see that we're trying to play the game here, but it's actually frozen. I think this is some kind of stutter caused by shader compilation, I'm not sure. But when the game does play, it seems that the frame rate is good, so it's something that needs to be worked on by the development team. Also I'm noticing some echoey sound issues in Demon's Souls. So this happens in these enclosed areas where there are echoes. Some people report that this is fixed in the ARM build, but I haven't noticed that yet. Maybe a fix will come in a future build of macOS ARM64 RPCS3. Also, I tested out the game Tekken Tag Tournament 2, which basically works flawlessly on the M1 MacBook Air. You just have to enable right color buffers and then all of the costumes and everything load up correctly and it looks great. We also looked at the game Skate 3. My feeling is that this is stuttering a little bit and also there are issues with the sound on the arm build, but still definitely very much playable. Also, we had a look at Devil May Cry 4. So this actually works really well, extremely smooth frame rate, but also issues with the sound echoing. Hopefully this will get a fix in the future because otherwise it'll be a great candidate for working on the M1 MacBook Air. So that's the native ARM version of RPCS3 on Mac. Let me know if you see any games running better on this build or if future builds improve stability and compatibility. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.